Hi friends, this is Geography Girl Jamie with Around the World in Homeschool Days. Today I want to share with you a book that my third graders really enjoyed. And we use this to learn about the catacombs that run underneath the city of Paris. This is called You Choose Books. Could You Escape the Paris Catacombs? An Interactive Survival Adventure by Matt Doden. So I remember having a choose your own adventure book when I was a kid and it was a lot of fun. And this is even better because it is talking about a real place, the Paris catacombs. So there is a map of the tunnels and then about your adventure. You are deep below the streets of Paris, France in the twisting network of tunnels known as the Paris catacombs. It is dark and damp. Every footfall echoes off the cracked walls. Skulls grin at you as your flashlight begins to flicker. Your heart races at the thought of the darkness closing in around you. A small portion of the tunnels are open to the public, but you went off the grid in search of the unknown. Can you escape the wild unmapped depths of the Paris catacombs? Your choices will guide the story. Will you backtrack or delve deeper? Will you scream for help? Will anyone hear you if you do? Can you find a way out or will you join the others? as a permanent part of the catacombs. So here's that first chapter, setting it up. It says, turn the page. And then when you get to a crossroads, it will say, to see the catacombs as a young worker in the late 1700s, turn to page 11. To explore the catacombs as a modern day tourist, turn to page 37. To help rescue, to help rescue of a group of teens lost in the labyrinth, turn to page 77. So let's say you choose to explore it as a, um, a young worker in the late 1700s, and then there are historical pictures. It says turn the page. So you again, you read until, until you get to a decision. To get up and go back to work, turn to page 16. To rest here for a few minutes, go to page 18. So eventually, the story will end. To investigate the light, turn to page 20. To return to work, turn to page 21. Go to page 21. You would start here, skipping over page 20. Turn the page to go, and here's another picture. The catacombs tunnels were created when limestone was mined to build the city in as early as the 14th century. To stay put and keep working, turn to page 35. And then here. Um, the search parties find no trace of the man. He's just gone. With a shudder, you realize that could have easily been you. The catacombs of Paris are no place for adventure. You'll just keep doing your work. There are millions of dead that still need to be stacked. The end. So to follow another path, you can go back to page nine. To learn more, turn to page 103. So if you went back to page nine, you would be beginning the story. Well, sort of beginning the story and then following another path. Um, so I guess three main paths. And then of course, I want to go to page 103. And this is just good information about the catacombs. Um, so they were tunnels, which were dug from mining that limestone, like I said. And then the reason they started putting their dead there is the city's graveyards were overfilled. Old graves were being dug up to make room for the newly dead. And so they dug all these bodies up and stacked them up in the catacombs. kind of crazy and so that's all information and then true stories of the Paris catacombs these are probably um stories of warning like do not go wandering alone other paths to explore read more internet sites and an index in case you're doing research I do think that this book has um value for learning about the catacombs. I looked up a few YouTube videos wanting to show my kids the catacombs and 
sadly, I did not find anything that was appropriate enough. Perhaps there was one cartoon, but it seemed it was a little bit spooky. So I think that if you want to learn about it, this book is filled with those pictures and historical um, historical pictures as well as modern day photographs. And it gives you this sense of adventure, like I'm in the Paris catacombs. I could do this and I could do this, but what am I going to choose? When my, my kids spend a lot of time with this because you can just read so many different storylines. And these types of books, if you're unfamiliar with them, they're not going to make much sense if you read them straight through because it's like all the pages are, are scrambled and arranged in such a way that you can have an adventure flipping through the book. Um, so if you have a person, a child who really wants to know more about the catacombs or a child who tends toward um, scarier adventure type things um, or a child you want to teach Paris to or even just an emerging reader, these are really fun. So I highly recommend this one because not only is it adventurous, but it's actually historical and you're learning about a real place. So, could you escape the Paris catacombs?